Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week we're joined by Shauna from the Command Zone to help us figure out which Dragon Commander is best in CEDH. Hey guys, I'm Shauna. I work for the Command Zone. I edit videos. Uh, if you want to see anything I do or will do, you can find me on Twitter at underscore Shauna Gillis underscore. I do a lot of random shit. So first up, I'm playing Ow, building steam with a grain of salt. Shauna's playing Div Mizzet Perun Control. Tyler's playing Corvold's Treasure Storm. And Cameron's on Tiamat Dream Dragon. Dragon chain. I'm gonna keep my hand. Keeping first seven as well. I think I'm keeping mine too. I am gonna keep second seven. Any pregames? Nope. 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 All right, I'll start us off. Draw card. Planes. Also have a mana crypt. Photocolus and cast soul ring. Pass my turn. Nice. Draw for turn. Scalding tarn land for turn. Max diamond. Discarding prismatic vista. Cast ragavan. Pass turn. Dura. Recalculating. You sound like my GPS. <laughs> Ancient tomb. Pay two, losing two life, going to 38. Cast an Arcane Signet, pay one red. Cast a Gamble. I have a response. Mind it's, oh no! It's, it's, I wish it were Mind Sensor, it's not. I'll cast Archivist of Ogma. Mm, okay. Hey, I like that as also well. Also pretty That's darn good. Nice. Also quite good. I'm gonna respond yeah. and crack this. I'll try to find a Volk. You search, I'll go up to 41 and draw a card. I will discard a Dark Side Extortionist. Oh! Yes! That feels <laughs> not great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast a Jeweled Lotus. I will pass the turn. Get a draw. Overgrown Tomb, 38 LED. I will pass the turn. Until Tap, upkeep, mana crypt trigger. That's a win. No damage. Draw card. Planes. Go to combat. Tyler, come at you for two. Take two, go to 36. Float one. Cast. Ow. Pass turn. Draw. Combat. Tyler, coming at you. No bucks. Treasure. What do I get? Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I will play a land and pass. And tap. Off again. Stomping ground. Losing two life. Going to 32. Pay two. Losing two life. Grinding station. Cracked World Lotus. Cast Corvold. Cast Counterspell. Yeah. Counterspell works. I will pass the turn. Near end step, I would like to put a Vampiric Tutor onto the stack. Hell I yeah, baby. <laughs> Agma Trigger count number two. 42. Draw card. Find a mystery card, throw that card on top, and go to my turn. Scrub land as the land for turn. Exile the Simeon Spirit Guide for a red and cast a Dockside Extortionist. Get two for me. No responses. No responses. So the ability goes on the stack at six. Let's use two of them and sacrificing Dockside Extortionist to cast a Neoform. Oh, baby, am I drawing three total cards in a white deck this game? Incredible. Three total <laughs> cards. Draw a card and gain a life off your search. I'm going to go to 43. Squeeze the Immortal. So I actually think that I should be drawing the card after the tutor has resolved. Gets a plus one, plus one counter. Yes, this is alarming, to say the least. Crack three treasures. There's still one treasure here. And I would like to put a food chain onto the stack. Float vault for a blue, cast thunderclap, sacrificing volcanic islands to attempt to deal three damage to Squee. So this removal spell on Squee doesn't do a ton, and Shauna knows that it doesn't do a ton. But what it does do is it kind of makes Cameron discard his hand because he's going to have to crack the lion's eye diamond in order to cast the Squee again. So it's at least something it does anything at all. Little do they know, I can also respond with the last card in my hand, too. In response, I'm gonna call in the weak squee. Yeah, no response. So I have four black mana, no cards in my hand, so I'm gonna crack LED to make three red, and then use that three red to cast squee. I'm gonna respond to squee. Okay. Nice, nice. No, well, don't get excited. We're, we're on the kill your commander plan, Dylan, and pray, so I'm gonna oh, slaughter okay. pack out. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's something. I, I, I have no responses to this. This is okay. This is dead. Replacement effect and trigger. Top seven. We hit something. Oh, Ooh. no, you did. Leon and Relic Order and Bounty Agent. Oh God, yeah, that does do it. Food Chain's supposed to win games. That was pretty lucky. That was pretty good. I'll put these two in play, shuffle the rest at the bottom, and Leon and Relic Order has a trigger. Hit the Food Chain, exile it until Leon and leaves play. So we did it. I have no cards in hand, I'm passing. Untap, upkeep, mana crypt. It was a win. No damage. Draw card. Play a planes. I'm going to cast Mana Vault. Floating one. I'm going to cast Oswald Fiddlebender. Cast Aether Sworn Canoeist. That one's going to go away and I'm going to go to combat. Tyler, I'm going to attack you for four damage. Stick four. 26. Pass the turn. Untap. Drop. Combat. Coming at Tyler. 24. Skirk Prospector on top. Yeah, I'll tap in my seven to cast it. Play land for turn and I will pass after that. Untap. Not lose the game by playing two with Ancient Tomb and Great. one black with Arcane Signet. Draw for turn and immediately pass. Draw for turn. Immediately pass. Go to me. Untap. Upkeep. Mana crypt. Win. 
No damage. Draw card. Play of planes for turn. I'll cast Ow again. Let's go to combat. I'm going to continue attacking Tyler with this 2-2, two -two, that 2-2, two -two, this 2-2, two -two, and... Oh, this has Vigilance. Fuck me. I didn't know that. This 2-2 yeah. two -two also. Yep. Eight. I will take 8. Go to 14. And I'm going to tap Oswald, pay a white, and sacrifice this Mana Vault to search my library. I'm going to find Nim Death Mandal. That'll be it for me. Pass turn. Upkeep. Draw combat. Tyler. 12. And you hit a Praetor's Grasp. Cast the Praetor's Grasp? I'm going to target Cam. Let me send you the list. Give me Wish Claw. I'm actually going to cast it right now because I can. Okay. Crack this for a black, tap this for a colorless, and cast the Wish Claw. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. Luxury sweet. I'm just going to pass turn. I will draw. I will play a land. I too will pass the turn. Let's see what we can do. Untap. Upkeep. And I have a Mana Crypt trigger. Lose. Go down to 40 again. Draw card. I'm going to go for it because I think I'm supposed to. I'm going to activate Oswald's Fiddle Bender. That's fun to say and sacrifice Aether Swan Canonist looking for a three drop. Find Ashnod's Altar. And I definitely should have done this in a slightly different order. Two white mana, floating a colorless. Cast Ranger Captain of Eos as well. Oh, I'm sure you just love to do that, wouldn't you? Yeah. I, I would I would love to. I should have done it first, but I am an idiot. Losing two life to Ancient Tomb, going to 10. Cast Corpse Dance with buyback. Duckside hits the battlefield. Duckside ability on the stack, eight. I have eight grinding station triggers. Dill. Yes. How many cards do you suppose you have left in your library? In my library, Jesus Christ. Four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Probably at least 19, like twenty or thirty. Nineteen. What's ninety-nine minus nineteen? Yeah, Eighty. Maybe. Yeah, that's not within reach. You know, I think I may just be wrong about. <laughs> Are there any creatures that removing them stops the loop at this moment? What you mean, like any of my creatures? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, no, not really. Shit. Getting rid of either of these would obviously help you stop the loop, but that's not a creature. Yeah, that's about all you can do. Yeah, well, unfortunately, for reasons that completely elude me, this list is not run at Rex Siege. I don't think this is getting me anywhere. I'm I'm interrupting for no reason. Okay, um, great. Continue on. <laughs> a Ranger Captain resolves then, yeah? Ranger Captain ETB. I'll go search. I'm going to find a Mem Knight. Mem Knight goes to hand. Cast the Mem Knight. I'm going to sacrifice AO to Ashnaut's altar to create two colorless mana, an owl trigger, and a Nim Death Mantle trigger. I guess at the time, I really wasn't sure how to pronounce this card because I keep on going back from Ow to Ao like every other time and watch it now is driving me nuts. To be clear, I think at this point in my life that this card is pronounced Ow, but I'm not sure. I think I'm allowed to put this in the command zone and then Death Mental can still bring it back. I think that can yank it out of the command zone. I have two triggers. The first trigger is going to be the AO trigger and then I'm going to resolve that one first and then I'm going to resolve the Nim Death Mantle trigger. Seven, Janeth Magistrate and Esper Sentinel. Put these at the bottom. Pay two and use that two Ash Nuts Altar to return out to play. Attached to Nim Death Mantle. And then I will do that same thing again. Sack for two, top seven. Is there a reason you haven't cracked the Stinky Socks? Um, <laughs> I was I also guess, curious. When did we start calling this card Stinky Socks? because I don't remember that at all. I don't know. Why does he call it Stinky Socks? I guess not. I was just kind of thinking that there's no reason to do it yet, but I guess I should do it now. Let's bring into play Pithing Needle and Expedition Map and Land Tax. Pithing Needle will name Wishclaw Talisman. Two mana here. Sacrifice the Mem Knight for four mana to return out to play again. I suppose, yeah, now I will crack Ranger Captain of Eos. I'll respond. Oh, damn, you tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't truly do anything, I don't think. I'm going to cast a event shooter for one black. Esper Sentinel trigger. Oh, it's not your first spell this turn. It's just the first since Esper, so that doesn't matter. Go to eight and put a card on top. And then Archimist will trigger. I'll go to 41 and draw. I'm just going to clip this game whenever somebody says Archimist is useless. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it's drawing me four cards. Not bad. Yeah. I'm going to find this mystery card and put it on top. Activate Grinding Station. Mm, I wonder if I should have yeah, named Grinding Station on Pithing Needle. That might have been better. <laughs> I'm going to sack the Signet top three. Put Eternal Witness, Culling Ritual, and... Fuck. Finn Hornells into the graveyard. The plan was to corpse dance the Ewit yes. to get the pack the dark side <laughs> to get the grinding station loop going and Hitting the Finhorn ruined that. So we will just fold our hands and say, continue, to Dylan. Excellent. Corpse Dance is a weird card because it says the top card of your graveyard. It's like one of the few cards that references the order of your graveyard and needing to keep it in a relevant order, which is bullshit. Uh, I will respond as well. It oh, probably okay. won't do jack shit, but I will tap this up wood, losing one, crack the treasure for red, and sacrifice the skirt for red. It's back in your graveyard. I don't know if that helps you at all. Probably not. <laughs> it's not nothing. I will cast a flame sweep. Oh, geez. Yeah, I'll respond to that. Bill, I think you have an Esper Sentinel trigger. I yeah. do have an Esper Sentinel trigger. Thank for you. Sure. Draw off Esper Sentinel trigger. I'm going to sacrifice Owl for Ashland's altar to make two mana, which 
which is up to you. Three. We still have stinky sucks on the sack, right? All Correct. Right. Trigger, trigger. So look for AO. Seven. We're kind of witnessing one of the strengths of this AO deck right now in that it can kind of win at instant speed or at least go through its loop at instant speed. So I can respond to almost anything that anyone does right now with just going over top of it. Put into play Grand Abolisher. And that's also one of the best things about it. Just getting Grand Abolisher right into play. No one, you can't even respond. It's just, it's in play now. And Phyrexian Revoker as the other one. Phyrexian Revoker will name Grinding Station. Sacrifice Oswald Fiddlebender, go up to five and return this to play, paying four of it, going back down to one. I will do that again. Go up to yep. three, trigger, trigger. Salvage Scout and Lion's Eye Diamond, I guess. Sack the Esper Sentinel to make another two mana, go up to five, use four of it, bring Al back into play attached. Go again, go up to three, trigger, trigger. Seven, Sarah Ascendant, Spirit of the Labyrinth, Mox Opal, On Thin Ice. These aren't, Cameron, you didn't give me oh, Snowlands. Shit, they're Snowlands. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna matter. <laughs> oh All right, these are Snowlands. I'm, just, I'm declaring yeah, that. Yeah, no, they're <laughs> Snowlands. I refuse the proxy basic lands. It is just a lot of extra time when I have a billion of them sitting around. I don't have a billion Snowlands sitting around. And most of the time, people just throw in Snowlands because it doesn't matter. On Thin Ice <laughs> is going to target the Dockside Extortionist over there. I will respond. Grand Abolisher is in play. Right, forgot about that. I was like <laughs> waiting for that flame tree that's way down there on the stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got it. Okay, sacrifice another creature, which will be the Sarah Ascendant. Go to five and then go down to one to bring AO back into play. Do the thing again. This is really time consuming, isn't it? It is. Seven. You are leaking. Uh, that's okay. I don't give a okay. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just one this time. It's yeah. Relic Vile. Sacrifice Archivist of Agma. Go up to five. Since I have another Cleric and Trigger, each opponent loses one and I will gain one life. Five mana. And then use four of it to bring AO back into play. And go again. Seven. Restoration Specialist and Magus of the Balance in play. Sacrifice Magus of the Balance. Going up to five. Trigger again. Everyone lose one and I gain one. 43. Four of it to Six. bring AO back into play. Sack again. Go up to three. Trigger, trigger. Drain everyone for another one. Seven. Ambitious Farmhand into play. And Grim Monolith. Farmhands will search my library for basic planes and put it into my hands. Basic planes. And then shuffle. Sack the farmhand. Go up to seven now. Trigger everyone drain again. Go down to three. Put this back into play. Sack again. Up to five. Trigger, trigger. Seven. Even mind sensor into play. Down to one. Put AO back into play. Sack even mind sensor. Go up to three. Drain everyone again. Tap Grim. Go up to six mana. Sack AO again. Drain everyone one more time. Trigger, trigger. Seven. Grasp of fate. I guess the Ragavan treasure token on Cameron's side. Grinding station. I can't activate it for mana now. It doesn't matter. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. What else am I going to get? Spend four of that mana to bring the AO back to play. Sacrifice AO again. Go up to six. Trigger, trigger. Everyone lose a life. Seven. Just get an arcane signet. Four mana here. Put this back into play. Sack again. Go up to four. Everyone drain again. And I, I will. Bye, Tyler. <laughs> Seven. Get Skyclave Apparition. The Witchclaw Talisman. Spend the four mana to bring AO back. Sack AO again. Go up to two mana. Everyone drain one more life. Trigger, trigger. Look at the top seven. Seven. Enduring Renewal. There we go. We got the definitive loop now. Play with my nice. hand revealed. This is my hand. I'm going to sacrifice Spirit of the Labyrinth. Go to four. Drain everyone for one more life. Pay for Ao to come back into play. I will return it to my hands. Tap yeah. the planes to sacrifice Galvage out to return artifact from my graveyard to hand, which is Mem Knight. I will sacrifice for one, two, three, four. Cameron, you're going to get a blue illusion, which is a zero, zero, which will die right away. And you'll also get food chain back into play. Six. So that'll make 12 colorless mana. And during renewal, when all those creatures go to my graveyard, they go back to my hand. I'm willing to let the two damage to all creatures spell resolve. Sounds good to me. And then the Ranger Captain of Eos ability resolves. Can I fetch now? You could fetch. I'm going to fetch now. Okay. Are you going to do anything else? Just, no. just felt like the moment, huh? Tap Arcane Signet for a white. Tap Mox Opal for a second white. Cast Grand Abolisher. Cast Mem Knight. Sacrifice Mem Knight for two colorless. Put it back into hand with Enduring Renewal. And do that in infinite times. Sacrificing for two. Putting it back into hand. Casting it again. And since I control a Cleric, Relic Vial will ping the table for death as I do that. Sounds good. Hooray! We did it! Yeah. I got lucky in a lot of ways, made a couple of dumb mistakes that didn't end up mattering and got to win in, in my opinion, a really fantastic way because that tech was so much fun being able to do that on instant speed and responds to everyone. Nine times out of 10, I think Tia Matt should have won that game, but I mean, sometimes you get unlucky and maybe I'll win the next game that we play with Shauna. Do you win? No. Okay. <laughs> but maybe. In that other game, Shauna does a lot more. So what is the best dragon deck in CEDH? Mono White.
Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so at Patreon like our $50 patrons. Nikola Marakovic, Sham, Roberto Ruiz, Steven Shalikti, Shrek, I'm looking down, Russ Helms, Jacona Stoneburner, That Green Guy, Plantain Jackson, Isaiah Berliski, Michael Lyon, Kyle Levenberg, George Allen, Jukai, Byron Wang, C, Kawaja A. Humid, Jacob Depp, Unforeseen God, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Nocturnal Beaver, Vinny Bianca, Jormags, Ugly, Moxfield, and Baby Jeebus. Our bonfire store has all of our play to win apparel, so check that out down below. If you want to pick up any of the cards you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link, which will help support the channel. Our Alter Sleeves affiliate link gets you 5% off your order, so check that out down below too. And if you want to pick up any Dragon Shield product, you can do that at our affiliate link down below, which will help support the channel. And play to win MTG.com has all of our play mats in stock. There's still sleeves over there, as well as the play to win coins too, so make sure you check that out down below. Thanks for watching. See you next week. This is supposed to win me games. It's Food Chain wins games. It's not Food Chain makes you scoop it up with no cards in hand and lose. This is a pivot point. This is where I, I pivoted. Pivot point! <laughs> Sometimes Food Chain doesn't win games, I guess.